Good morning, Savoir Flair, and hi, my name is Nibi Hans. I'm the Global Beauty Director at Netaporte, and today I'm going to share with you my 7 a.m. routine. So, obviously, a lot has changed in the last year, and one change I've had has been in my beauty regimen. So I used to do the main focus in the evening and now, however, I do most of my treatments, etc., in the morning. And I find that not only does my skin look more glowy and more hydrated during the day, but actually I have seen my skin get better. It's like, why do all the work at night and then you go to bed and nobody sees it? So rather than being upstairs in my bathroom for 20 minutes, that's why I'm now downstairs, I'm on my comfy sofa, I've got my cup of tea and I can watch the news and I can sort of then do all my beauty regimen now. And so let's get started. Now, the first thing I like to do, I'm sure you've heard of this, is my gua sha. So this is, a, I mean, this is thousands of years old, but it's now become hugely popular. Really good reason it works. So it is like a lymphatic drainage, a massage. It helps stretch the muscles. It helps just makes the face feel amazing. So you need to do it either with wet skin for slip, so you could do it in the shower, or I do it with my favorite Le Mer oil. I love this one because it sinks in really fast. So you just need a few drops and just give your skin some slip for the oil. So I have, um, in the morning I either use the Jade or the Rose Quartz Crystal. They're made from pure crystal. The Jade is very good. You can use it, anybody can use the Jade. It's very cooling. So if you have any redness or irritation. So first of all, you can just lay it on your skin. If you like the Red Quartz, I have this for the Precision Tool, which I'm gonna come back to a bit later. Uh, the Rose Quartz you shouldn't use at night because it's linked to the heart energy and it can be quite stimulating. So if you love crystals and you have rose quartz in your bedside table, move them away. They could be keeping you awake. So with this, it's very good again if you wake up and you're puffy. So you can, oh, it's very cool and it's beautiful. So I always work along the jaw. This gets really tight. And what you're doing is apart from massaging, you're draining any fluid into the lymphatic system and then you want to drain it down. This is great because I know there's so much stress at the moment. A lot of us are doing much more online. We're on Zoom, we're on our phones. We get a lot of tech neck. This is fantastic for relaxing the neck. You can do all the way back there. It's great to do in the evening, but this is my morning routine. So it's going to be a bit more draining and sculpting. So that is fantastic for fitting the contours. I really push up into my cheekbone. And again, when you do this, it's a bit like if you have a massage or reflexology, you feel little tension points and little sore bits and you can really work in there. So you can drain up there. And then this, ah, oh, so good. It um, lifts up your brow, it drains the eye. And also it's good again, if we're on our phones, always looking down. Now this I call my uh, zoom headache point. So if you get really achy here, and I think sometimes you can even wake up. If you've been sleeping, you've stressed, you can wake up with tension here. So I always do this and it's really great. I have this thing called the Netflix test and it's, can I use any device, whether it's a microcurrent, whether it's more hands-on, can I use it while I'm watching Netflix? Because if I can, then I'll use it. If it takes, if it's super complicated, then once or twice and I get bored with it. So this I do normally, I can spend ages doing this but it's super soothing and as you can see, really relaxing. And it just, you just do it intuitively where you think everything should be. You just want to lift it up a bit. Now the precision tool, so that's the jade for the face and then they have the precision tool. And again, you can get this in jade, mine's in rose quartz. And we can just work along there. It's amazing how, a bit like when you have a shoulder massage and you have all those crunchy bits, you have them here just actually on the eyebrow is good. Again, if you have a headache, you can go gently under the eye. And also this is good along the lip line. Just work it in there. Great tool. And again, I use this on a tight, tight jaw. You can really work it in. And I love it because you can do it how you want to do it. Amazing. So my next device, 
because I do love a device. I just think one of the great things now is we have these beauty devices that beforehand were in the clinic and now we have a chance to use them at home. So this is from Skinesis Sarah Chapman. It's the Meso Melt. It is very, very new. And it's basically taking um, classic microneedling with mesotherapy, which is a traditional French treatment. And mesotherapy is where they would make a cocktail, a bit like an early serum of um, hyaluronic acid, amino acids, vitamins, minerals, and then they would superficially inject it into the skin. So it's like getting your serum, but actually just under the skin rather than just on it. And it's an incredible treatment that you often get in a spa or clinic. So what Sarah Chapman's done super cleverly is you have your roller, but the little needles, the tips of the needles are made up of solid um, treatment serum with hyaluronic acid, that's the meso bit, and stem cell activators, etc. So as you roll it over your skin, what happens is the little tips melt into the skin so you have your treatment actually in your skin not on it so the way that i do this is i go across a few times it's actually really gentle you can just feel the needles but it's as you can see it's not making my skin red or sore so you go that way and then you can go diagonally diagonally I even this is how gentle it is don't forget the 11s and I even do a little bit over my eye top just above the brow bone and then you do the cheek cheek don't forget there over the temple I even go around my nose over my mouth And then you can do the neck. Don't forget under the neck. You can do the chest. It's just a great treatment. So you keep going about a few minutes and you feel after about five minutes that the, um, the little needles start to melt. And that's when you finish that. You it comes with three different uh, rollers. So each one you use it once and then you throw it away. So once that's done, the meso melt comes with uh, a little ampule of serum however i'm using my own different one i'm using the barbara Sturm, um night ampules and yes i know it's in the morning however it was dr barbara Sturm who gave me this tip she said you can use these morning and night basically they're full of a uh, hyaluronic acid so you just snap them they're hyaluronic acid and they're with um, anti-inflammatories and antioxidants and I think that the skin needs it at night it also needs it during the day so now that I've got little micro channels in my skin from the meso I'm just going to press that in and this is a tip actually that I got from super facialist Joanna Check. so rather than just rubbing your serums in she says you press it it causes like a little micro vacuum in the skin so you put it on your skin and when you press it it makes the skin almost act more like a sponge so it soaks it up more and actually it's gone in super fast so that's now how i put on all my serums so now normally i would use a vitamin c and it would be the good C from Dr. Barbara Sturm. However, even though this is non-irritating and it's only 5%, um, I'm not going to use it now because I've just done the microneedling. So I will use this on the days. I do the microneedling like once a week. So this I'll use on other days. So I'll probably say that for tonight. Instead, I'm going to use my other favorite serums. Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is, I don't know how long I have been using this for. I mean, like years and years and years. It's been updated, obviously, but I love this serum. It's sort of like, I guess it's probably one of the first serums ever. It's got hyaluronic acid before anybody else knew what, you know, was promoting hyaluronic acid. And again, anti-inflammatories, antioxidant. I find 
you know, I've got, I recommended this to so many people over the years and I find it helps calm down irritated skin. It's fantastic if you've had a day at the beach and your skin's feeling a little bit sunburnt or windburnt. And even I've had people who have sort of like irritated breakouts, they find it super, super calming. And when you think I've just been rolling my skin and putting in the serums and it just is not, it's hopefully more glowy than red. So next is hydration is something everybody wants. And every time I see a dermatologist or a facialist, I ever say, have you ever seen a fully naturally hydrated skin? The answer is always no. So no matter, no matter what skin type is, we always need more hydration. And this is one I love. It's Summer Fridays Cloud Dew. And again, this is new and it's an oil-free gel cream. Now my skin is super dry, but this one I like because it's just incredibly hydrating and it's not heavy. So it's fantastic if you are, are in hot weather or humid weather, just goes in and it just gives you dewy skin. And let's face it, who doesn't want dewy skin? So one of the things I often do is I get a little bit generous and I put it on with my face cream. I put on a bit much and just let it sink in. So after that cream, next comes one more serum. I know that there's an order you put in it. It seems strange to put a serum on top of a cream, but this one, because it's got more oil in it, glow drops, I put this on last. And this is just fantastic. It's, it's that real lip from within skin on the skin. And it's like a shimmer, shine free, glow that just makes your skin look amazing and also i find it's probably it's probably just enough everything that goes on my face goes on the back of my hands and finally like normally i know i would put my eye cream on i haven't actually put on a big proper face cream because i feel i've got enough i've got this the meso in my skin you know i feel like my skin is fully loaded at the moment now normally yes your eye cream goes on earlier but sometimes in the morning when I'm doing something a little bit longer, when I'm going to do this whole routine, I call this not my eye treatment, it's just an eye treat and it's the La Mer, the concentrate for eyes. It's again, it's got an all that amazing um, miracle broth, etc. And then, so these are what I use it with. This eye cream comes with one of these, but I keep it for my last one and I keep these in the fridge. So I get up in the morning, when I go and get my tea, I get these. And then what you just do is dip it in. This is not something you would do every day, but it's like a big treatment morning. And then you just put it round and then you can just keep massaging. Oh, it's so cooling. These stay cool anyway, but if you put them in the fridge, it's like a little cryo treatment. And this is literally what you get, what, what you have used um, on you in a lot of facials now, but you can just do it yourself. And again, we're spending a lot more time on our phones, on our screens, and this is so calming and relaxing and deep puffing. And just go out around, just follow the bones around there, around the eye. And you can just always press up again if you have an achy head. It's fantastic. And you can just lift up the brows and it's so calming and soothing. So those now I just wash off and they go back in the fridge for next time I need them. I often will do this during the day as well. If you get like that sort of puffy face or gets very tired from looking at the screen. So that everybody is my morning routine. So thank you for joining me and I hope you really enjoyed it. Thank you, have a lovely day.